lengthening the latissimus dorsi or the lats. Now, in order to do that, we may need a couple of different positions because the latissimus dorsi or lats, they originate in the midline or along the spine in thoracic and lumbar spine. So the mid back and the lower back and they also attach across the back of your pelvis. And then that muscle comes up almost in a triangular fashion up toward the outside of the shoulder underneath the arm and attaches into the humerus of the arm bone. In fact, the lats are the only muscle attaching the lower back and the arm together. So from a structural standpoint, those lat muscles are actually quite important. So how do we get them to experience lengthening and loading and proper action? Well, there's a few different movements and one of the best ways to do it is to have an anchor point from which your hand can be held onto. So I've got the stall bars or Swedish bars attached to the wall. You can use a door frame and stand on the side of the door itself. And what you'll be doing is in a split stance, the leg that's closest to the door frame is going to be your forward leg. The outside leg will be back. Now you can allow this back leg to be extended through the knee and almost have the back heel touch the ground. It doesn't have to maintain contact at all times, but that's the extension that we're trying to achieve in that outside leg. Now the outside arm is meanwhile going to reach over and grab onto the door frame. And we're going to grab on not so that the arm's in front of the body causing rotation, but so that the arm reaches over and you've got to create a side bend. And you can see already the length that's occurring on the outside of my body on the right hand side. With my other hand, I can put my hand against the door frame and gently push against it to drive my body further away from the door. And I can just simply move back and forth with this. Now you could play around with a little bit of rotation, a little bit of forward and backward action with the hips, just to see if you can achieve a little bit more extra length or that lengthening sensation somewhere along the chain. So from a profile perspective, the inside leg is forward, the outside leg is back. I'm going to reach overhead and I'm not going to try and rotate but stay facing sideways and then just drive away from the wall and come on back. You can do this several times, see what that's like. Now if you have this tendency to be ever so slightly leaning off to one side, maybe you carry a, a satchel or whatever over your shoulder or purse or backpack over one shoulder and it drops off the other, it may tell you I've got a little bit of sideways leaning, one shoulder elevated, one depressed. Could that be that these muscles are shortened? Might I want to try and experience just the opposite? So standing with the outside leg back, in side leg forward, I just do the other side. Chances are you're going to get more of a positive response from one side or the opposite. So be sure to assess, move, and reassess <clears throat> to see if that's the correct one for you.